Okay. Time to continue playing through Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Yep. Save data, continue. That is what I'm looking for. Uh, on chapter 2, I am at Agartha? I don't know. Agartha was once one of the greatest cities of the there ancient world, but it didn't take long to fall under the onslaught of the Dark Lord. The lichens were innumerable, and the city was razed to the ground. The necromantic wars, as they were known, destroyed the advanced technologies that the Agartians had closely guarded. Eventually the Titans fell, and then the people were massacred one by one, or were turned into beasts subservient to their new conqueror. None now remain to tell the tale. Except you. You remain to tell the tale. moments where I'm suddenly trying to remember what happened previously on. Oh my. Well, that thing looks angry. I can't help but feel that has got to be overkill for a troll thing. Wait! Well, I guess I'm supposed to follow her. Or I could go over this way. And try to remember the controls. Ooh. These both seem like good ideas. Okay, what does this say? Uh, Dear Lord, please help me find a way through this cruel city. I have been your faithful servant, good, honest, and decent. I have seen creatures ride the backs of wargs that appear almost tame under their control. How can this be? Please, God, show me the way to do this, so that I may continue on my quest to reunite this world with your heavenly kingdom. Amen. Let's see now. I can't carry more daggers, because of course I can't. been what a week and I'm already forgetting. Ha, I remembered what the dagger button is though. Tell if like rocks are like go this way or don't go this way. It's very confusing. I can't help but feel like I missed something. Well, I found a door. Ha! I found a dude. says, the city is a labyrinth, but I deduce one may find the path by careful selection and patience. I've searched many nook and cranny and found gems and items that will no doubt prove useful later on. I've also been able to stock up on silver daggers, which are particularly useful against the lichen. This is uh, a true statement. I have found that the lichen tends to uh, explode. Hey, I found a giant pit. Okay, apparently that was the path of no return, so I'm just gonna go this way instead. Really? Apparently stairs are mandatory in this game. Who knew? Except for when they're not.
So, currently my thoughts on this game are... I'm not a big fan of hard to figure out corridors. It's very pretty though. This looks important. This is yeah, just a view. Yeah, this is uh, I think my my biggest complaint is that it it's very difficult. Yeah, well I figured that part out. It's very difficult to. Oh, I have no idea. What I'm it's very difficult to tell what's supposed to be a path versus not, I guess. It's the best way to describe it. Okay, what do you have for me? Vulnerability frames. I will take iframes, sure. Also, extremely static camera. Can be a little problematic at times. Um, just because it doesn't reroute you. Like, the controls kind of become wonky when the camera angle drastically changes in relation to your character until you, like, kind of reset to neutral. Yeah. I'm liking it otherwise, overall. I was less lost. So, I have to be stronger for this, and over here is a gap I cannot cross. Well, I can certainly try, but it ends poorly. Okay. I didn't try to follow a girl at start. Uh, on the assumption that that was the way I was supposed to go. And I wanted to see if there was loot this way. There has been some loot this way, I grant you. Also, mostly a maze. See the thing over there, I just can't do anything with it. <laughs> so I can't go back. statues though. Well this is new. And this looks like a battle arena to me.
Right, well, I can't jump there. Take that knife wielding pillar. Um. Okay, I was expecting that to happen, but I wasn't really sure what else to do. Oh, oh, okay, I'm just pushing by this guy. Trying to remember how to turn on magic. Okay. Right, go to the edge, come back, something like that. I don't know how to trigger that guy. I have to be able to start this fight somehow. Yeah, I kind of thought that's what would happen, but that's what I did last time, and then Big and Ugly Fox that wrecked me because I forgot how to use my abilities. There we go. Terrible at this game. Probably didn't help that I was playing Shadow of Mortar earlier today. Okay, why does slash with claws for sex charge by attack? I see. I guess this is the part where I get off. AOEs.
Okay, now I just need to figure out what I'm supposed to finish. Quite possibly something over here. No. I feel like I've missed something obvious. You ever have that feeling? Oh. jump right here. Yeah. I hope most of the mount stuff is in this section. I don't like the mechanic very much. Like a couple of these gaps wouldn't actually require big ugly here. Wait. stuff I'm not surprised. Okay, go skills page. Is there any anything I can buy for 680? Oh. Area Counter-Strike. That would be useful if I could more reliably Counter-Strike. Seeing as I cannot, it is not terribly useful. Quest then to the dark dungeon. Who is this strange girl? Surely she could not have survived alone in this hellhole. Gabriel follows her deep into the depths of the city. I wonder where she is leading him. It is strange. I hear no words, and yet it seems Gabriel is communicating with her in some way. 
Something tells me she has a part to play in all of this. Is it the script? I bet it's the script. Activate the amazing jump gap ability. <laughs> Miss jumps by not holding the stick far enough. Okay, apparently that's lethal for some reason. Oh! I can jump higher now. Okay. I guess I continue down this way. It's probably lore. It is lore. A long lore, too. They're on this broken leg. Stefano and Michael are traveling ahead to find help. I'm so glad we teamed up, because working alone was proving very difficult. Stefano has a shadow gem, which has given him extremely powerful abilities, but I fear it is changing him. He's developed a strong temper that wasn't there before, and he revels in the execution of these creatures more than is necessary. I shouldn't complain, really. Now that he is not here, I feel vulnerable. He should be back soon, I hope. Hmm. You know, this game does not have a whole lot of fountains in it, it feels. Oh, there she is. Hey, she does have a travel method besides back flipping. Okay. Well, I know I haven't been here yet because of this guy. Uh, Gremlin guano sounds disgusting, but the fact is that the substance was extremely valuable in a guardian culture. It's flammable and burns slowly, but with a a very hot bluish flame. These characteristics made it a good energy source, and so it was commonly used during the first age of the mythical city, at least until replaced by the more powerful dark crystals. And I thought nobody knew anything about this place. Uh, that must be what he was talking about. They look like they're going to be an annoying enemy. Well, that was somewhat inevitable. Talk about annoying. Well, as long as I can't carry more daggers, I might as well trade them in for dead enemies.
Looking to see if I missed a key somewhere. Seeing as I'm short at one. Oh, for crying out loud, it had to be a spider. in this fight and why does it have to have some fun? I'll have to do some weird web grabby thing. Yep, I have to do a weird web grabby thing. And they finally actually give me one of these things, which is really, really rather kind of them. Yeah, I kind of figured this was the other one. Don't worry, if you folks feel it's dark, it's dark. Obnoxious to have to come back around, but whatever. <laughs> Yay! Font of power. Oh, boo. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, well that was appreciated. That less so. Stop! She does speak. Did you see the power that resides within those crystals? The crystals can be really useful in combat. You can find crystal shards scattered all over the place. I often go in search of them. How can I hear your voice? I'm not moving my lips. I have the gift. I can also read minds. Who are you? My name is Claudia, and he is my protector. He looks after me. In return, I catch evil souls so that he can absorb their energy. Without it, he will stop working. There's something different about you. Well, you seem good somehow, so we won't kill you. I'm relieved to hear it. It's okay. Let me read your thoughts. No! What is it? What's wrong? You are here to kill the Lords of Shadow and take their power. You mean to save us all, and bring the one you love back. I am not afraid. We are coming with you. You won't make it on your own. No, Claudia. I must do this alone. I know the way. You don't. You need me. You need him. Very well. Making your telepath really saves on lip sync for her. Etc. Stuff that does things. I'm mostly uh, looking at those to get the thing out of the way. It's telling me all about the egg being there. You tell me new combos available, but I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about. Oh, uh, chain barrier has not been available. Oh. Fate has curious. played its hand, and now the die is set. I knew this child would play her part somehow, and it seems Gabriel has real help at last. It bodes well for our quest. The golem that protects the girl has something that could prove very useful in the end, something unforeseen. My dear friend, I see your destiny before me, and it is terrible indeed. And yet I have trust that all will be as I have hoped. Right. Well, let's continue then. Thousands of years, this city overflowed with life. It was a sanctuary of magic, wisdom, and harmony. These people were the ones that created the crystals, which you've already seen. They didn't need armies for protection. Their powers were enough to thwart any threat. That is, until the Lycans came. Then the balance changed. Trolls, goblins, gremlins, creatures of nightmare besieged the city endlessly, day and night. Most fled. Others used their remaining powers to create huge titans to fight against the invaders. The battle lasted centuries until there was no stone left standing. No one left. 
Those that did not die in battle were captured and devoured. My father was one of the last. He hid me. He created the Black Knight to be my protector. We have been running ever since. The Titans outlived their creators and stayed here fighting against an enemy that outnumbered them until even they were defeated. All except one. Behind those doors awaits the last of those Titans. The only way to reach the Sanctuary of the Dark Lord is through that door. We will have to defeat the Titan if we wish to continue our journey. The door will only open with the power of a crystal. You need to find four shards to create a whole crystal. We will wait for you here while you look for them. Go in search of the areas where the crystal shards grow. We will wait for you here. Over this way, no. Oh, where's the bust? Um, I mean, clearly, the game wants me to go somewhere, right? Ah, over here. Other is no a telepath. I've heard the legends of the necromantic wars and the advanced civilization of the Agartians. It is said one of the titans of war lies near these parts. Uh, he hopes the Dark Lord never finds and uses one of these um, because of the destructive power, and he's going to search for its final resting place and try to find a way to destroy it. Obviously, not quite those words. first because you can insta kill them with daggers so it makes them an easy first enemy relatively speaking. Some very durable pottery. I'm not entirely sure where I'm trying to get to at the moment. I 
feel like that's just a way to be able to go back up there. <laughs> In case for some reason I need to be able to do that. Back the way I came. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. Oh, wait, I can go up here. That's dagger pouch. Okay, well, I found a Spot to get more dark magic crystals since that's apparently what this game is specializes in. That explains the need for a return path. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. Yes, we do. The fabled city of Agarda. Remember, that people haven't been to in a very long time. Uh, yeah. An amazing sight, and one which I never thought I would see. It is very dangerous here. The city is teeming with lichen and werewolves. So I've taken to searching for the crystal nodes as... Once you collect four of them, you can create a dark crystal capable of unleashing a demon from the Shadow Plane. This is extremely useful for annihilating many enemies at once. And apparently opening doors. You know, depending upon where your priorities are. And Alano has taught me well. I've literally just gone in a circle. Great. So there's two ways here. That's annoying. Remember, we still need three more oh, crystal shards. shards. Like, 
There's a ledge up there, I just don't know how to get to it. Just hoping it's not a plot important ledge. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. Yeah. Trust me, pretty hard to forget. With you reminding all the time. You found another one! We need two more! Yep, picked up on that. More daggers, folks. Okay. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. You thought Nova was annoying. That window is really wonky, and I don't get it at all. But hey, I get to reuse this health thing! Yay! I kind of feel like that went somewhere, but apparently it doesn't. That requires an upgrade I don't have, and I'll probably get later. I cannot carry more daggers. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. That was a little tricky to discover, I think. Found it though.
Well... I feel like I'm missing something. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. Uh, I got the wrong ledge for special grabby times. Yeah, thank you. That was me failing to understand what the controls were going to be doing at that moment. Shots. Yes, I know. So that way Kirby can open the path to saving Dreamland. Wait, did wrong game. That shockwave is so hard to dodge because by the time you see the graphic, it's hitting you. Remember, okay. We still need two this might take a few tries because I am bad at this game. This game gives a vertical hitbox. Explain what I mean by that. I feel like enemies hit you out of the air way too easily. That is wrong magic. The first platformy feeling of the game as this is. I feel like jumping is not a good evasion attack. That's an excessive number of daggers and something else I also feel like whatever. There we go. Just one more! Yep, just one. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I feel like it's got to be somewhere along this way. Ah. Screw that. I'm not doing that fight again. You know, I'd actually be kind of interested in seeing a speedrun of this game. I feel like there's a lot that can be skipped. I am not, however, we are going to be ace one who will do speedruns for this game. Don't like it that much. It's okay. So there's that one there. The there is only one shard left. You just need one more to create one whole crystal. Yeah, this is a true statement, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure where to find it. Unless this area is different. Oh, it is a different area. Ha! Dark crystal. With the dark crystal selected, press and hold the B button to destroy it. Releasing the demon contained inside. The secondary weapon requires four crystal shards fused together, but it is powerful enough to annihilate most enemies around you and will seriously damage you from the most massive and powerful of foes. The energy within a complete dark crystal can be used to power certain ancient devices too. Okay, Great. so I have to now come back here. Do not waste the crystal or you'll have to find another one. Of course it's a troll, what else would it be? Well, there are a number of things that I dislike about this game. There we go. Enemies is keys definitely one that I find slightly irritating. Oh, well that explains that mystery though. Big door, the Titan awaits you. Uh, These statues seem to be here for a reason. Okay. I agree that they s these statues seem to be here for a reason. I'm also confused as to how I use them. Trying to interact. 
Hey, that's the thing. Okay. You, do you tell me how these work? Um, puzzle or reason. Yeah, the people use the shadow field, the gemstones, power many different devices, it's not just survives. The giant stone doors that block the path to the chamber of the titans, which can only be opened with the energy of... Right, um... Yeah, I know my health is low, thank you. Probably playing this at a higher difficulty than I should. Okay, I am just flat out confused about how I'm supposed to use these. Crystal is still needed to activate the statues. Well, that wasn't immediately clear, but okay. Statues can move somehow. There we go. Where am I there? Thank you. I mean, this is a very simple mirror puzzle. Embedded. Hey, and that's the end of the level. Cool. And I found all the magic gems. Go me. I'm gonna save up still. weapon up here that I wasn't able to get, but... Let's see... The three companions enter the chamber of the Titans. What awaits them there is all that remains of the great technology of the Aghartians. This battle will test them all, and there is no going back now. The board is set, the pieces in play, and we shall see what occurs and who will emerge the victor. The child and her golem will help, and I hope once the battle is won, that Gabriel will have the courage to do what is necessary, necessary for our quest to succeed. For there is still the matter of the Lords of Shadow, and their power is even more formidable. It's raining.
a weak point. It's glowing yellow. Neat design, I'll give him that. be annoying to fight though I bet I have to climb all over the thing Okay then, I won't. I don't know, it's showing me back for some reason. Oh, probably because I got a bestiary. So we can look at things like the naiads. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, is it weak to a crystal but immune to daggers and explodey daggers? Okay, that's nice. Okay, now I see the animation. I need to return the rock. I need to return the sender deal. I'm not terribly fond of this. I imagine there's a reason I need to climb on this particular light there. It wouldn't have downward goey bits unless I need to go down with that. I feel like I probably screw something up. Wait! Pick your moment, Gabriel! Can't see. I ain't falling rocks.
totally stunned. Gabriel, go! Yeah, skip this cutscene. Oh, for crying out. Have a rock. Now is your chance! Climb up! Concentrating a good bit here. Not getting knocked off. Climbing to the weak points to smash. What was I supposed to do there? I mean, I hit the... Don't get too close the to grab the, the The interactor button and nothing happens. The friggin' dodge window for that's super tight too. Or early is the biggest thing.
not quite sure which direction you need to go around this thing. I know. See, the thing is, there's just no real good sense of progress with this giant. With this giant. No? Like, if I hit one of these things and the limb just flat out fell off, that'd be one thing. But just go up to the thing, mash the button. I don't know. I think there's a lot of... What was that? Okay, if this... Okay, good. Just not start me from the beginning. It's those instant shockwaves is the thing. Um, that's one of the things that gets me. That is a serious arm she's got. Oh, f I was not expecting a quick time event there. Don't get too close to the Titan. Mercifully, it didn't insta kill me. Here comes the throwback. But don't do it too early, or he doesn't know what he's doing. The Titan is stunned! Gabriel, go! Yep. Wiggle on. Smack the old cutscene showing me this glowy rock that then warps around and I get this diadem thing. And Gabriel, she, take this! Well, I get to watch her ridiculous throw again. Yay! Hopefully that's the last one of those. I said it was. The Titans are no more. She was the last of her kind. Shall we go on? We should rest. Night is coming. I know a place.
Okay, I need to go get the move called Chainsaw, because of course I need to go get a move called Chainsaw. X, Y, X, and hold X. Okay. Okay. The Black Knight. A great victory. Gabriel has won the trust of the girl, and together they wield a fearsome power. She is so young, so beautiful. Life is so fragile here on the edge of humanity. And yet in this unforgiving place, she has managed to survive with the help of her Black Knight protector. Sleep will come and take them soon. Tired and exhausted, they rest but this night. Fate once again comes calling, and I fear my friend will never be the same again. darkness possess you, Gabriel. You must remove the gauntlet from the night. It is a key, and the moment will come when you will be in great need of it. No. I will have to continue without it. I will not harm it. I am afraid it is far too late for that. better No, 
I think that move might have been an unblockable. that does, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be standing in it. Oh, goo out of nowhere. Ow, and immediately the smackdown. That? Oh, a uh, smash button to get goo off you. Oh, good. The goo monster squeals after a while and explodes, and that has a lot of range. Since I started this game at a higher difficulty level than I really should have. What? What killed me? Is there a friggin' way to kill this goo? What? Uh, okay. This is definitely wrecking me. Monster, no. Stay away. Goo monster go away. No, don't make another one. That's the exact opposite of what I want. For 
For some reason I keep hoping that jumping will help. It does not help. Most of the time it does not help. Monsters. Like, if I knew of a way to interact with them in order to destroy them, I'd be much happier with this proposition of goo monsters. Anything that's not unblockable. Oh, just kill me now, the Goo Monster. I'm not sure if the Goo Monsters kill me or just lock me in place for him to kill me. Okay. Well, that was fast. I'm attempting to figure out some stuff about his moves in terms of especially the regular sword slashes that he doesn't seem to want to do. Wait, what just- oh, I landed in the Goo Monster, I think. Okay. People complain about Dark Souls hitboxes. Activating cutscene powers. Really hoping for an end to Goo Monsters. What? <sighs> okay, okay. Nobody should complain about Dark Souls hitboxes after if they ever witnessed the travesty that is this game's startup damage boxes.
Although apparently the magical helmet kept him from exploding. Obviously. I don't like it when my gloves pull me up in the air. I much preferred that boss fight over the Titan, for what it's worth. Skills have been unlocked. Tremor Punch. T plus X. Oh, okay, so now I get those. Earthquake Punch is the Y version. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, while Light is active, press LT. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not as interested in that. There's some of these more expensive ones. Okay, so they have aerial versions of those. one. Okay, yeah, that's the chainsaw like the move on the ground. Okay, well. Chapter three. Um I guess I shall continue for now. Yeah, Dreams are a short. gateway to the mind. And now Gabriel has paid a terrible price for succumbing to his weariness. The many sleepless nights since his love was taken from him, the fear of falling into sleep, the nightmares that haunt him have all played their part. Did he murder this poor girl? Or is there some other explanation? Doubt gnaws at him now, eating his very soul. The golem protected this child for centuries, loved her dearly, and there was no way he would have let Gabriel live, yet alone give up the gauntlet. Few men could continue. Most would abandon the quest, but something deep inside forces him ever onwards. A dark force has taken hold, and all creatures of the night will come to fear him now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have three towers to avoid copyright infringement, I speculate, although that's probably a little ridiculous to say. Okay, Dark Gauntlet. This piece of Agartian Mage Smith technology was not ordinarily part of the design for the Black Knight Golem, but was somehow magically melded with the construct during the final stages of its creation. Claudia's father included it because of the sheer power and brute force that it gave the Golem, and he deemed it necessary in order to protect his beloved child, but in truth, it has a much darker purpose. Now let's do that. And that. So that's pretty cool. It's darker purpose. Causing slight structural damage to allow you to make a path forward. Yup. I 
love these things. Also, I'm apparently f just straight up full on daggers. Um, okay, well that's a lovely side area that contains a few dudes and some restorative fixers. Oh no. Uh, Okay, well, where is it? I know I can't cross this gap on my own. You just told me. Okay, so if I can't cross that gap on my own, as the game so kindly put it, I found stuff. It is the way back to the starting area. Do I need to punch that thing further? Can I punch that thing further? I'm gonna find out. I can just charge this indefinitely. Oh. Hey, swingy point bit thing. Okay, is that orb font still over here? Yay. Just gonna go ahead and use it while I'm here. Might as well, right? Because it's there. I'm there. Makes sense to me. I'm super happy, by the way, that that didn't require the mount mechanic. I'm not a fan of the mount mechanic, which I believe I've made fairly clear already. I mean, I'll, I'll grant this game this. That's a nice view over that way. Oh. I just need to tap it once. Okay, that's fine then. What do you have for me? A scroll! It says, This crumbling civilization is a testament to man's greatest ingenuity. I am saddened that all of the secrets that reside here will soon be lost, many of them sunk beneath the Pelargic Ocean. The Dark Lord's influence is strong here, and wargs, werewolves, and lichen roam every corner of this land. I have to move quickly and quietly, careful not to be spotted. I found out nothing regarding the spell that has cut our world from the heavens, but one thing is becoming clear to me. With each passing day, the Lords of Shadow must die. Okay. I feel like there's something down there, but I can't manipulate the camera. You know what? Yeah, I don't think there is. There's definitely something up there, though, and it's all glowy and stuff. Too much about completion, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the script I gave for this game earlier. It is extremely scripted. Okay.
berries. Um, okay. I now have a fairy thing. We've got the fairy container, so for fairy blossoms and towers to fill it up. Sorry, I was just figuring out an aspect of the controls there. Uh, and apparently finding more daggers. Looks like I maybe get to hold two crystals? Well, that, that one they just gave to me, I mean. That was nice of them. I'm breaking the pottery because I'm actually low on daggers for a change. Uh, okay, sure. Light gem. <laughs> okay, I'm lowering those things over there. This feels too much like an arena, though. really trust it to not attack me. It's pretty grim though. That one's glowy. Why is that glowy? Well, that door thoroughly noised. I'm also seeing some other funky logo thingy in the upper right corner, which to me reads like, go find stuff. Uh huh, only a warg could climb a wall like that, and also somebody with the ability to climb up vine like things. You know. Let's go see what's this direction. Oh, like the war gun I'm trying to find. This even has a right stick. Okay, cool. Now I just need to take this barrel of laughs over this way. 
To the vine that only a ward could love, I mean climb. Health refill. I don't think I need this. Call it a hunch. Right, we gotta mash the button. Uh, this is an interesting door spin quick time. Sure, why not? That is a large statue head thingy. I think I need dark to operate it. With the fairy selected, press the B button to release one against the nearest enemy. Additional fairies can be released by pressing B again. Fairies will home in on their target and can distract certain enemies, allowing you time to execute a devastating attack on them. Fairies are very fragile and will die after one use. The magical forces that animate the fairies can also be used to reactivate certain ancient devices. With light magic active, fairies will explode on contact with the enemy. The explosion deals a great amount of damage that can be fatal to some enemies. However, fairies will also perish in the attack. Interesting. I'm currently acquiring fairies. Okay, and that awards the puzzle completion. I've discovered some inscriptions on these old walls. They must be related to the magic rune sand below. The blue rune only has one number. There is a red rune with a blue one to the left of it. Well, that's not a whole lot to go on, but uh, this is the part where I pull out pen and paper. So, blue rune only has one neighbor. Blue rune on edge. There's a red rune with a blue one to the left of it. Okay, so it's the blue rune's on left edge. The rest are red. Okay, cool beans. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. 
Boink. Boink. That was extremely easy. But maybe that's because I cheated and used pen and paper. Don't think that really constitutes cheating. But you know what I mean.